All right, so this video is for new students. Um, one thing you need to remember is this website, oc.okstate.edu. Um, it takes you to, I guess the, the login would be this, um, and your courses. So that's very important, because you need to click on my courses. You're either in 104 or 110. And once you log in, you'll see this big news feed, hopefully. That's the first thing you see. Um, and you should read this, because it's where I post important things uh, reminders and other um, issues related with the class. Uh, you need to take a note of this. It's the code uh, for your course enrollment or for the book, the online book. Um, if you don't see it, you can click show in all news items. And if you scroll down, it will eventually show up as long as um, older stuff that I have posted um, in the class. So it should be Yeah, right there. Code is here. So, um, yeah, if you don't see it, go ahead and click show all and look for the code. Um, and then you could, should click on documents or content, depending on which class you're in. Um, I don't know why it's set up like that. And you should click on syllabus. You should click on syllabus and you'll see my syllabus. Um, definitely take a look at it because um, it'll outline everything you need to know about the class. Um, and it in detail the different stuff in the class. Um, but the main thing is you're gonna get measured, I mean, you're gonna get graded on exams, which consists of also a short answer. Quizzes, you have two papers, concept maps, and Q&R posts for each chapter. And there are 14 chapters. Um, yeah, 14 chapters. So this is how you read this calendar. Um, you should probably print this out and have it somewhere where you can reference. Um, so we're on week two. Well, we will be on week two. So um, the Monday, Wednesday class uh, for Sunday night, they should have read one of uh, these sections, five to seven. So you can read five, six, or seven. Um, if you missed out or you just started, you should also read one through four, um, just to have um, information on that topic. Um, you can also see that we'll be taking the Learn Smart Quiz one. That's due um, this weekend. And on Wednesday, we'll be starting uh, chapter two, Brain and Behavior. And as you can see, the sections are divided much more um, explicitly. So one to two is gonna be covered on Wednesday, three to four on Monday, and five to six on Wednesday. So always be aware of which section is um, assigned. And next Monday will be Labor Day. So pretty soon, you guys already get a break. Um, but that won't be the case for the Tuesday, Thursday class. All right, so quiz one, how do you access it? Well, remember that code I told you just moments ago. Um, if you click on course link, you'll be able to click on connect Learn Smart. And if you haven't enrolled yet, it will allow, ask you to register for the course. Make sure you're registering for the right date. Um, and then you'll have to enter that code to get full access to the course. So go ahead and do that. And once you have access to the course, this should be similar to what you'll be seeing. So you'll click on chapter one. You'll see this LS icon. This is the actual Learn Smart quiz that you need to complete for credit. So once you click on it, it'll take a while to load. Once it finishes loading, um, you'll likely be in either the assignments or the read page. Um, so if you click read, you can read through it. You can use this to um, move quickly through and skim the chapter to see what uh, the chapter was about. Um, so say you only chose to read one section, uh, but you wanted to skim the rest of the chapter, this is one way to do it. Um, of course, it's harder to figure out what the section is using this um, style of reading. Um, so you don't have to do it this way at all. Um, but once you click on practice, this is that Learn Smart quiz that you need to complete. And it'll take you about 30 minutes to do. Um, so we'll keep giving you questions. Um, I see there are 31 items left, so that kind of indicates how close you are to finishing. But I did mention um, it's kind of hard to see which 
the outline is for Learn Smart. So let me know which one you kind of decide to use in the end. Uh, because I think it's good to be able to see the organization of uh, the book. So if you go to a table of contents, uh, this is a lot easier to figure out what, uh, I mean, how the book is organized. As you can see, section one, two, three, and four. You can just click on it to start this section. You can also, uh, once you get into it, you'll be able to click on this and see um, a different setting. So five, six, or seven. So you can look here to decide which one you think. Do you want to read about samples and settings, ethical research, or learning? Uh, about psychology means learning about you. Yeah, so maybe I want to look about ethical. So this is section six, and it's about conducting ethical research. Um, well, it still doesn't do that bit. But yeah, so here's where you would be able to select the different sections uh, quickly. That's desired. Um, so it's pretty short, I think. You see that was the whole entire section. Um, so it's not too much reading. Uh, there really isn't a reason why you shouldn't be able to do this before class. Um, so after you've read, um, you'll probably run into some questions um, while you're reading, um, just questions about what you're reading. Um, and you'll be able to post those questions in the appropriate chapter, like so. Um, once you get on it, um, it's helpful if you label which section you read. Um, just so when I grade, I know that you've posted uh, one for section one to four and then one for section five to seven. Um, so you want to make that post before lecture. So if section five to seven is due is um, on Monday, that means you should read it Sunday night to be prepared to discuss it for lecture. Um, you also need to make a response post um, sometime uh, by the end of uh, the chapter. So you need two response posts. Um, so preferably after our lecture, um, our next lecture, you should log back online and uh, see what your fellow students have written um, and then respond. So by clicking on it, um, you'll be able to respond to the thread. You know, keep their response. So that's how you make a response. Uh, post. And that's about it for getting uh, ready for this class. Let's see, as a student, um, you shouldn't be able, you, you won't be able to take your exams yet, but it tells you the dates. So you have those dates to take that exam. Um, so when September 8th rolls around, you'll be able to take it starting at 12 a.m. Um, so if you really, really want to, you can stay up to 12 and take the exam right away. Um, but you probably want to wait until the next day uh, to take the exam. And yeah, and you can check your grades here. Um, as a student, I probably can't see anything yet, um, but pretty soon you'll be able to see that these uh, grades will start getting populated. Um, and then you can just kind of add all those points together to figure out how many points you currently have in the class and how many you need to get um, to pass the class. And that's it.